consciousness greetings so now you will understand the concept of Jacob I love and Esau I hate now when you are trapped in Sunday school these Sunday school preachers will make you feel like you are dealing with two individuals and the creator of the universe has actually chosen one person over the other it does not make any sense what you are dealing with obviously now you understand that Jacob is loved because Jacob is the life-giving spirit which is your soul your soul is the son of God and the flesh is just a garment that is why it is said Jacob I love Esau I hated you are also told two will be walking in the field one will be taken up and one left behind therefore you must understand that Jacob the life-giving spirit is the Superman that is why in the Superman movies Superman always takes off his clothes before he flies off in his Superman outfit which has the golden S on the chest because of the Kundalini energy the fiery serpent when you look at a dead person or a lifeless body for lack of better words this lifeless body which is your physical self is always laying in bed looking miserable because the life-giving spirit has left the body and so when a person looks miserable in their deathbed it is because Jacob has left the building that is the reality of man and so you are told flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven but a spirit body the son of God is the one who inherits the kingdom of heaven these Sunday school teachings unfortunately many 40 year olds or over 40 year olds still enter buildings every weekend believing in these Sunday school teachings that is why there's a difference between preachers and teachers regardless of how you see yourself in this world there is an entity within you that will never taste death but will actually look upon the physical body when your end comes because this body is deathless you only enter bondage of the flesh for 400 years this 400 years as I've told you in the past 400 years in bondage in Egypt is your flesh the life-giving spirit enters the flesh of bondage which is the four elements earth water air and fire these elements are the elements of the cross which is why you have four points on the cross you are the son of God when you exit the four elements of the cross you ascend back to your father 
nor your biological father, but your spiritual father, your real father, who is love. This you must understand. You cannot find yourself outside of yourself and you cannot find God outside of yourself. You are the one from ancient of days. The one who brings the flame to the physical body. And so when you are a living being, you touch yourself and you are warm because you have the fire, the atom, the sun in you. And when Jacob leaves the physical body, Esau, the body becomes cold. There's no more fire. That is why the sun is everything. And in Genesis 49, they say Jacob named his children. Jacob being the son, as I told you in the last podcast, and the 12 constellations. Because the 12 constellations is the 12 characters of man. All the souls on this planet bears the characteristics of one of these zodiac signs. So we are not talking about history where a man is naming his children. But the children of Israel children of Jacob, the son, the Aten of Chemites, will bear the characteristics of one of these zodiac signs. That is what Genesis 49 was all about. Or is all about. These books were written by mystics who understood the nature of man. And so the Bible is not a stupid book, as many may have you think, but rather a book that is dealing with you and your ultimate reality. If you can actually conceive this thought, freedom will be yours. Peace, family.